On this hunt, I'm going after Canadian geese in western Wisconsin with my good friend Darren. I can't see shit. I've never goose hunted before, but our party has plenty of experience to go around. It should be a great morning. We're gonna shoot a bunch, but we're not gonna hit anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> take them, Yep, take them, take them. Oh, that fucker's Sorry, tenderized. Guys. Sorry, I didn't even <laughs> shoot. All right, we're done. It's 4.15 in the morning. Got a plate of pizza rolls. We're going goose hunting. September 18th, 2021. We're a couple days into Wisconsin goose season and we're making our way to the fields for my first goose hunt ever. I shot trap with Darren a couple weeks ago and after seeing I was a decent shot, he invited me out to join this hunting party. Well, it's that time of the year again. Early season is done. We got the boys back in town. We're in our favorite field that we hunt every single year. The geese are here. We got a nice southeast wind coming right off the river. It's gonna be a banger, stay tuned. Today, we're hunting in an A-frame style blind on the edge of a cornfield. As one group sets up the blind, another group places the decoys. There's a lot of prep that goes into a day's hunt, but with a group this big, it's quick work. Just fucking spread it apart, right here, right? There's a lot of strategy involved when placing decoys. Every hunter has a different theory to what's best. The consensus is, Clump them too close together and you don't give the birds a place to land. Spread them too far apart and they'll land too far away. Balance is key and you have to be willing to change things up. So we got about another 25 minutes until uh, until shooting yeah, starts, but we got all the decoys set up. Um, we're kind of getting our game plan together. Again, it's been a while since we've seen each other, so we're catching up a little bit, but as soon as, uh, as, soon as the sun starts rising and the fog starts lifting, it, it's gonna be a good day. So we're running three dozen full bodies, all different kinds. We got about 12 dozen silhouettes out as well too, so about 15 dozen total. Um, typically, we like to run family packs at this time of the year, um, with them still being a little little bit on edge, um, being new families and all. Um, but we got a pretty good spread, pretty good win, like I said, so we're gonna shoot them today. For the first time, first time being out, you got a lot of guys that have been doing this for quite some time around you, so just make sure you keep your head down when the geese are coming in and you start shooting when we say shoot, and <laughs> you'll hit some birds. What are you doing? What are you doing? Loading up on some boss shot shells. Oh, you think I should put some shells in my gun? No, not yet. Put a bunch of shells in my pocket. It's fucking funny when you said decoys in the dark and you stand up and like, fuck, we put them close. <laughs> yeah, we might be spreading them out. That's typical, you know. It always looks different when it's night. Hey, move that one that way. Move this one. No, the other one. Other one, that's not a good one. <laughs> How's this gonna work when we see one? No. Brandon will call it. Brandon will call it? Yep. And then take them, boys. And then we all just stand, stand up. Stand up and let her rip, yep. Shortly after legal shooting time, we see a loner goose and call it in. Darren reminds me that it's important to keep your head down and sit still. Otherwise, the goose can see you from above. Luckily, this one nearly lands in our blind. What is he doing? There's no wind. What's he doing landing in our block? I wonder if he got the flag. It looks like it. After we take our first goose, the eighth man in our group arrives and starts walking towards the blind. He's coming in right at us. Almost on cue, we start seeing flocks of geese and begin calling them in. However, the geese are not cooperating. 
We were supposed to have wind and some cloud cover, and we have neither. Why does the wind help us? Because it makes them decoy. What do you mean? It makes them, it makes them react. It makes them make a decision. When there's no wind, they can land whichever way they want. And if there's the straight south wind, they always land under the wind. Here you come. Do you want your chance? We see another loner goose, and our party calls it in. I'm gonna let John shoot it. Darren tells them that this is my goose to shoot. I better not screw this up. It was supposed to be just you. You didn't fold them, so you had a bunch of backups. Oh, I appreciate it. Fuck. Did that hit him at all, or did he just completely <laughs> miss? Yeah. You might have ass shot him. I think he hit some feather on the back. Yeah. <laughs> They're still floating. Sorry for whoever's going to eat that one. Whatever. We need, we need a stronger wind. It wasn't the greatest shot in the world, but that's what the backup's for. At least I didn't completely whiff it. Since we're not able to get the flocks to land, we start adjusting the cover and change the decoy spread to see if that helps. We finally get some geese to land, but they're too far away. We can't seem to catch a break. There's no wind, so they can land wherever they want. They didn't have to make the full turn. When we thought things couldn't get any worse, a heavy layer of fog rolls in. It doesn't matter how many decoys you have, if the geese can't see them. I can't see shit. At this point, there's not much we can do besides wait. Right Where's he? I cannot see anything past 30 yards. I have no idea where he is. <laughs> so what does it mean when we say they flare, they're turning? They fucking start, they'll be coming in and then they'll see something they don't like and they'll change directions. They flare their wings, they'll fly up so away. It's not good. When geese flare and birds flare, yep. something's fucked up. The fog is making some of our decoys wet, creating a shine visible from the geese flying overhead. Once they see that, they know something ain't right and they head the other direction. We pull a couple of the full body and shell decoys to see if this improves the situation. While making our adjustments, Brandon sees a flock overhead, so we rush back into the blind. The geese are a hair out of range and we don't want to lose permission to hunt this land, so we hold our fire and wait for the next flock to come through. Tough sled today. Yeah, fighting fucking another field of birds and then fucking no cooperation. Well, what is a five mile an hour wind right now? It is, there's nothing, zero. <laughs> This is all part of the goose hunting game. <laughs> as soon as I accepted that today might not be as successful as advertised, the fog lifted and we started seeing geese. Coming right in. Right up to the right, right. Great right edge. Oh, them other ones are still out in the field. Oh, yeah, here they go. Hey, call them. Call them. Call them.
There's nothing like shooting a bird, watching a good dog do its thing, and immediately prepping for the next flock to fly by. The excitement comes in waves and we can't get enough of it. I don't know if I got that last one. Uh, it's like the only time you ever come in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we tickled that one. Oh yeah, there's big flocks. Send them back, we got more geese in here. Send them back. No, send them out to get them. Yeah, there's some getting up right over there. We gotta get it. I'm gonna get the other one. Ah, there's a loner to the left, Lardo. Oh, to the right. Look at the big flock get up right over the tree. Good boy, good boy. Yeah, I know, there's, a, there's one to the right too, coming in. <laughs> He's cupped up, he's cupped up. When they're locked up, basically what that means is they're committed. They're, Their they're wings are in. cupped and they, they just don't flop and then they're just landing. So they're, they're just sailing and committed. Well, it could be a little bit better. We had, uh, we had some heavy fog roll in earlier, which kind of screwed us up, but it's clearing out. The decoys aren't shining as much. Hopefully waiting for the later flight. But we got seven now, seven? We got seven now, so we got a few more to go to get our eight-man limit, that's for sure. Where is he? Coming right behind us. Oh, yep, locked up. Keep your heads to the back. Get ready. John's going to shoot him. All right. Take him. Take him. Take him. Good boy! Fuck, I missed the first one again. I think I got the second one. Yeah. Oh, you shot twice? Yeah. My ears are ringing like a blood. Nice shot. Sorry. My ears are ringing. I stood up and then the second shot, my. You shoot both shots? I shot twice. Yeah, and then you got him. Yeah. Did anybody else shoot? Oh my god, I shot with him. He shot with him. I like to think that I've dropped a goose by myself at this point. It's hard to say, but hopefully we get a couple more opportunities. What about these ones at about 10 o'clock? We got more coming. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Watching trained hunting dogs work is a thing of beauty. Witnessing the dedication that goes into training a dog pay off in real time is truly amazing. As we're gathering dead birds, the action continues. It's becoming very clear why people love goose hunting. They're all gonna do it, just let them do it. That loner is still right here. The loner might come back right now. He's coming. He's coming back. Take, take that loner on that side, guys. Yep. Not yet. Take him. It was farther than I like. It looked closer, but it's dead. Come here. Good boy. Is that a pair of honkers flying far apart? Here comes, here comes. One by one, we're slowly getting closer to our limit, and you can tell we're having a ton of fun along the way. Yes, he is. Yep. Oh, oh. 
He's a weird. Oh, oh, that made a thud. Good boy, come. A few moments later, we see a good sized flock and we do our best to call them in. No, they're dumping right now. Easy on the ball, easy. Let them do their thing. They're going to slip their right turn. Right into us. How do you feel about that, Darren? Good. It was good. We needed that. That was a day maker. We gotta count these birds, boys. Yeah, let's yeah. get out. Oh, Deal. Oh yeah, that's the one I shot. Yeah, I'm just gonna count Got my them first band. Hey. Yeah. 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 That's the first band out of the field. Hey. We've never well, shot a band I'll, in this field. It's not my field, dude. I'll let you First take it. First band in three years that. in this field. That was crazy. What'd you say? Hey, send Gus on that line. Would you think Gus is right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Gus, come. Woo! That's what we hunt for hey, right there. Gun, He's gonna fly on you. That was exhilarating. It was a perfect sized flock. Everyone got to shoot. And we even got a band. I don't know how it could get any better than that. Bands are used for conservation research and to plot migration routes for ducks and geese. For waterfowl hunters, bands are trophies from the hunt. Hunters who report bands play a vital role in waterfowl conservation. So wearing bands around your lanyard is a status symbol among the hunter community. So you register it online at reportband.gov. <laughs> don't play, don't play, don't play, don't play. Take them on the right fucking side. No, they're too far. Right now, take them, take them. Status update. <laughs> well, it actually turned out to be a really good day. We uh, were one away from our limit. Uh, the mist, like I said before, it went away, and we're trying to get them before they go back to loafing, but one more to go, and we're out of here. Take him, take him. Oh, that fucker's tenderized. Sorry. I didn't even chew it. All right, we're done. Good job. We're done. Yeah, bring her down the line. Sorry, I had to show my Hey, good game. Shoot out a fucking muzzle blast and shit out of you. Finished her out with half the people out of the bunch. Thank you. Hell yeah. Good job. Good job. Well, we're officially done for the day. We shot our limit, we're done by 11, and we earned our first band in this field. I guess you could say my first goose hunt was a major success, a true team effort. I still have a lot of learning ahead of me, but I'll be back for sure. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Click subscribe to see what else we're up to. 